the typical behavior, and we're going to see this throughout this section, is that if you are given if you are given two radicals as a product or as a quotient, you usually write it back as one radical. If you are given one radical, you usually break it up into two radicals. So part A, there's a couple ways you can do this, but using the quotient rule, so that goes in both directions, we can write this as the square root of 50 divided by 2. What is 50 divided by 2? 25. So what is the square root of 25? The alternative way to do it by first using the product rule is to remember that 50 is 25 and 2. Correct. So what happens to the square roots of 2's? They cancel out. And square root of 25 is our 5. So you could use the product rule or the quotient rule first, does not matter. But notice, if you did the quotient rule first, we went from two radicals to one. For B, we have one radical. Let's write it back as two. This would be the cube root of 40 over the cube root of x to the sixth. Forty is not a perfect cube, but it contains one. What does it contain? Eight. And what's left over? X to sixth is a perfect cube. What cube is X to sixth? X squared. Don't say two. Well, what is the cube root of 8? 2. Cube root of 5 stays as that. x squared stays as that. Now, you might be inclined to break it up right away, but if you can clean up before you break it up, even better. Notice we have 18 x's in the numerator. We have 6 x's in the denominator. What happens to these? Yep, and you subtract the exponents. So how many x's do we have in the numerator now? If anything else reduced, we would do that at this stage, but 25 and 4 have nothing in common, and there's no y's upstairs. So just like b, we will break this up into two parts. And then if you want to break it up again using the product rule, that's fine. This step is optional. And even though we have square roots, by being told variables are positive real numbers, we don't have to worry about absolute value. And everything in there is a perfect square, so what squared is 25? x to the 12th, x to the 6th, or y to the 10th. Y to the 10th. And there's totally a typo in part B. Uh, notice to use the quotient rule, they must be the same index, and we don't have that in these. Let's change that. Let's make it and let's make them both fives. So please make this one instead of a cube root, make it a fifth root.
What's the new exponent on x? New exponent on y. So what's the perfect fifth inside of 64? I'm writing like this on purpose. 5 goes into 6 how many times? So we can pull out an x, which how much left over? That's still going to be radical. 5 goes into 2, none. So this y squared still stays underneath. What is the fifth root of 32? So there's 2x outside times the fifth root of 2xy squared. 